Okay, check this out. Okay, so if you ever wanna up your slap bass game, just think like a drummer. Listen to the drums. Try to mimic exactly what you're hearing. So all I'm using is my thumb and my index or my middle, sometimes I use that to pop. I'm just mimicking exactly what the drums are doing. So listening to the hi-hat, there's no kick drum on this track, but listening to the hi-hat, the accents of the hi-hat, and the accents of the snare. Listening to those accents. Listening to those accents. So trying to mimic that as much as I possibly can. And in this case, the pattern that I'm doing is thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck, okay? So I wanna take it slow, I wanna go through the pattern, just so you can use this, I'll give you another example of a pattern as well, using a drum rhythm. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So in this pattern, I'm playing thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck. So you can think about it almost like a drummer using right hand, left hand, you know, right, left, right, right, left. You can think about it like that. So thumb will be your right, your, the pluck will be the left. So right, left, right, right, so you get it? Anyway, so, the octaves I'm just playing in the key of G. Staying right there, not really making it too complicated. I want you guys to get the rhythm first, the rhythm down to be able to groove and gel with the rhythm first before you start moving it around like I was doing in the beginning. So, all together. One, two, three, four. Very simple, here we go again. One, two, Three, four, thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck. Or you can think right, left, right, right, left. You do right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right? If that makes more sense to you as a drummer, so I know a lot of bass players uh, become, you know, flip that around. A lot of drummers become bass players and they can think, you know, right, left, right, left a little bit better than we can. If they think about it in that concept, or even you, think about it in a, a drum rhythm concept, you'll be able to you know, groove a little bit better with the concept all around. Okay, so you got that rhythm. Let's move on to the next one. And I'm sure this will sound a little bit familiar to you guys, especially you drummers that have become bass players. This is using a paradiddle, all right? So paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I did that completely backwards. Flip it. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Got my hands mixed up. So that's the pattern that we're gonna use, using that and converting it to the thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, pluck, whatever the pattern is right now. So I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we got thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, or right, left, right, right. And then we have left, right, left, left, or pluck, thumb, pluck, pluck. Now for this pluck, you're doing a double pluck it's a little bit easier to do that with your thumb versus your index finger. You have to have impeccable timing to do that. Sometimes I like to use my index and my middle. One, two, boom. So my plucks will be one, two on my index and my middle finger when it comes up. So the pattern all together, it is thumb, pluck, thumb, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck. Pluck. You can do the one twice or you can do the one two consecutively with your right hand. So, in context. Okay, so you see how that sounds a little bit different. It feels a little bit different than the first one uh, versus using the one pattern the whole entire time versus the paradiddle pattern. So I'll show you back and forth between the two patterns, how they sound and how they feel. So pattern one. One, two, three, four. Pattern two. So 
you see how that sounds different? The different feels a little bit tougher to do the paradiddle pattern, but what I like to do once you get used to it, I like to start moving that pluck pluck around. I like to use a, maybe a hammer on and a, and a pull off or uh, just different fretted notes to go inside of that. So I'll show you an example. Two, three. So in this case, you're only plucking one time, but you're utilizing your hammer on or the seventh or the flat seven of the key that we're in and playing that and it sounds very familiar as a bass line. Okay, so I'm using that to my advantage and it still has that pluck pluck pattern. So it still has that feel you can start experimenting around with that one when you feel comfortable with the two different patterns. So I thought that was pretty cool to think like a drummer when you're slapping. Uh, this can go on for days. You can get a little bit more, a lot more advanced with it, uh, with different patterns and things like that. If you want to know more about slap bass period or just start from the beginning, we have a whole entire course at Bass Nation Academy. Uh, we have tons of courses on slap bass uh, and tons of lessons and tutorials to get you started in the right path and just excel your bass playing to that next level. So go check that out, link is in the description. And also if you happen to be new here and you haven't subscribed already, I would great, well, first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Derek Bennett, founder and instructor of Bass Nation Academy. Uh, and I would greatly appreciate it if you became a part of the YouTube family and hit that red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you can get notified every single time we upload a video here on YouTube. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.